If you don't have one of these, I really believe you need one. And let me show you what it is, tell you a little bit about it, and tell you why you need it. Now I've told you before that probably two or three times a week I get an offer for someone to send me their product and for me to review and do a video on it and I turn down almost all of them. Um, just not something I really enjoy doing, want to do necessarily. But when a product comes along that I really believe in that I think everyone needs and needs to see then I will uh, do a video on it. Now, most of you might remember that I did a video on a jump starter a couple of years ago, uh, a different brand, but a jump starter, car jump starter, battery jump starter. And I was contacted by this company here, Fox Speed, and wanted to know if I would review their jump starter. And I said, uh, you know what? I will. Um, this is the Fox Speed G29. It's a 2,500 amp. Uh, jump starter but it does more than that let's get into it and show you comes in a nice case instructions it's got a two-year warranty gives detailed instructions there with the kit you can't lose them comes with the with the bag, tells how to do it. And so you can't really go wrong. Take it out of here. Now on my other one, I the battery in my old truck was, was just about dead. So I went ahead and ran it all the way down and jumped it off with the first jump starter that I've got. And it was a 2000 amp, this is 2500 amp. It spun it around, I mean, with a completely dead battery, it spun it around like it was, like it had two batteries on it. I mean, I couldn't believe it. This one, I would think would do even better than that because it's, it's higher amperage. It comes with a cigarette lighter charger. So you can put that in there. This is a DC output. If you have something that uh, needs a cigarette lighter adapter to run, it could be um, an inverter or a laptop, something like that, then that's where you would plug that. It comes with the AC adapter. Plug that in there, plug that in the side, and you're charging. Has a digital readout right here. It says it can start a vehicle up to 20 times on a full charge. But uh, this is how you would do it. After you charge it, charge it here. It'll say 100% there. And then just throw it in your car and you're ready, to, you're ready to take it on the road. And then when you do need it, and you will sooner or later, take this off. Plug this in. Attach these to your battery cables, positive, negative. Push the power button. Right now it's brand new out of the box, shows 84%. Charge it up to 100 before you use it. And then put that on your battery, the two cables on your battery and Give it a few seconds to start charging the battery and to start you know building up the battery and then try to start your car and i just about guarantee you that it's going to do everything you want it to do i really am a big believer in these and i'll tell you why i've heard of horror stories where people try to start someone's engine with their own car and it messes up their electronics uh, trying to start another vehicle can hurt uh, your charging system can hurt your computer can hurt your uh, relays and things like that. Your cars, especially the new cars, are just filled with things that can be hurt that you don't want to mess with. The new cars are so technically advanced now, you don't want to do anything that might hurt them. So if someone needs help, I've got this to help them and I don't have to jeopardize my car, my truck, 
to help someone else. So that's why I've got this. This one goes in my truck. The other one I have, that'll go in my wife's car. <laughs> this one's gonna go in my truck. They report that this will start uh, V8 engines up to eight liters and diesel engines up to 6.2 liters. My truck that I started with the other one is 5.9 liters, busted it off like that. I couldn't believe it. I've used it to start my four-wheeler, riding lawnmower, tractor, truck. I had a neighbor call one time and his wife was, uh, he was out of town. His wife was stranded out in the pasture with a, you know, on a Kawasaki mule. And I went out there and cranked it up just like that. She got to drive to the house and um, get it fixed. So it's, it's, I have used mine not only to help myself, I have used mine to help others too. And even if you have AAA, I would suggest that you get one of these simply because every time I've ever called AAA, and I do have AAA, but every time I've ever called them, they said it's going to be minimum an hour. The quickest they were ever going to get there was an hour, but it's usually an hour and a half or more. Probably depends on where you live, the, the area that you're in, and how many trucks they have available and whatever. But waiting on AAA in 100 degree heat is not fun. Believe me, I've done it. So if this will save you from having to wait on AAA, if this will save you from having to risk your uh, electrical system on your vehicle to help someone else uh, or to help yourself out of a jam, then it's well worth the money. It also has two outputs here, two USB outputs, output one and output two. So you can charge a cell phone, you can charge a laptop, a tablet, um, anything that you might need to charge that charges off USB, you can do it with this. And I'm sure it would charge a cell phone or a tablet many, many times. Uh, that's just, that's very little power at all. I believe in these so much that I spent the money and bought two of them for both of my sons-in-law for Christmas. When the power went out in Texas, I emailed both of them and told them that this would charge their cell phones, would keep their tablets running, keep their kids happy. Uh, so they can play their games and stuff. And, um, and when their power went out, this was available to help. So another good thing with any kind of power outage and your cell phone's dead or it's dying and you don't want to use it and you turn it off because you are trying to conserve power, this right here will charge it many, many times. So I'm a big believer in the jump starter. Uh, I saw them for years before I ever got one and, um, I won't be without one again. Uh, again, this one is going in my truck, my new truck. I want to put this in my truck so if someone needs help, I can help them without jeopardizing my electronics. Another month or two, we're going to have vacation time coming. And uh, if you're on the road, even if you've got a brand new battery, you never know when you're going to leave the lights on, when somebody's going to leave a door open and you go in the motel. Have something like this. This one has hundreds of uh, reviews on Amazon. And it's got four and, a half, four and a half stars. You just don't see too many products with several hundred views that have uh, that many stars. Four and a half stars. And um, so uh, I'll put a link to it below. Fox Speed, the G29 Jump Starter. And it'll save you from having to wait on AAA. It'll save you from um, having to have dead cell phones. If you're out camping, if you're one that likes to go camping, Take this to keep your cell phones charged. It's also got a flashlight on it, which you might certainly might need if you broke down. Push the button once, hold it for a few seconds. Flashlight comes on. It's also got an SOS. You never know when you might need that. Push it again. SOS. Push it again. And it goes to strobe. Push it again, hold it turns off. I'm sure that flashlight would run a long, long time because these things are powerful. It comes with good, easy to read instructions in English, good English, and <laughs> we'll tell you everything you need to know about how to run this thing. So get you one, Fox Speed. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Look at my link below. Fox Speed G29 Jump Starter. I think you'll like it, but even more than that, I think you'll need it. And it's always better to have something and not need it than it is to need something and not have it. So, big believer in these. If you don't have one, get one. Look on Amazon, check out the reviews. 
see what you think of this one and uh and get one for you yourself or your wife i know guys say well i don't need i'm i'm a i'm a mechanic i'm a man's man well get one of these put it in your wife's car fox speed looks like to me make a darn good one so grab it and go all right we're gone